Samsung released the official Nougat update on the 17th of January and it turns out that the update is only for those phones that are not locked on the network. Well, if your phone is not receiving the Nougat update for some reason or the other and you're not afraid to take a loss into your hand, then let me show you how to get the update for your phone. There are three things you're going to need. One, you're going to need a computer. Two, you're going to need a software. It's called Odin 3. And then number three, you're going to need the firmware, the BTU firmware. Meanwhile, you will need your modem number to obtain the right firmware for your phone. How to get into the modem number? You need to go to settings on your phone. Click about. Then you will find your modem number. Write it down or you memorize it. Now over to the browser. Type download Odin 3. Download the file. Now go to submobile.com forward slash firmwares. Enter your modem number. Then download the file. You will see a lot of files. They just download the one for the Android 7.0 new guy up there. Go to your phone and let's prepare the phone for the update. Go to settings, software info, build number. Tap the build number seven times. Press the back key. Go to developer options. Allow OEM unlock. Here you will need to enter a password, pin, or pattern if you have not already said this you need to go to the settings under the security and set that now turn off your phone press the three key combination the home button the power button and the volume down once the device is turned on with warning sign press volume up. Connect the device via the USB cable to the computer. Now go to your computer. Extract both files you've previously downloaded, the firmware and the coding tray. It doesn't really matter. You can extract both of them in a folder or you can extract both of them separately. You just have to know where those files are. Right click on the Odin 3 as an administrator. Select the appropriate files as shown in this video. Once all files are selected, hit the start button and watch your phone update. Once it's it is passed, disconnect the phone. The phone will boot normally and request for the password, pin or pattern you already set. Then the apps will update. And yes, welcome to Android 7.0. Now I'm going to be doing a very quick look side by side with the previous version of Android, that's the 6.0.1 6 versus the 7.0. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you when I make a new video. Bye. God bless.